Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 23 of the chapter Chemical Bonding and Molecular Structure. I will now tell you about hydrogen bonding. If we look at the periodic table, we find that in the second period, the elements which are to the extreme right, that is uh, other than the noble gas, you have fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen. Fluorine is in the 17th group, oxygen is in the 16th group and nitrogen is in the 15th group. These elements are the smallest in size and they are to the uh, in the period and also in the group if you really look. So they are the most electronegative elements in the periodic table. And on the other hand, if you looked at the non-metals, out of the non-metals, hydrogen is the most electropositive non-metal which is there in the periodic table. Now when hydrogen combines with these three non-metals to form covalent bonds, the molecule is very much covalent, but this covalent can, due to the high electronegativity difference between hydrogen and fluorine, oxygen or nitrogen, a partial negative character develops over the electronegative atom and the hydrogen acquires a partial positive character. As a result of this, what happens? The electronegative atom, I'm saying electronegative atom because it could be fluorine, nitrogen or oxygen. So when any one of these three atoms which is bound to hydrogen in a molecule, what happens? It starts attracting. Now, since it is electrically charged and it has a partial negative charge, it starts attracting the hydrogen in the adjacent molecule. So there is no proper bond between this fluorine and hydrogen, but the attraction is so strong that they stay together. And such a bond, which is a hydrogen bond, such a bond is called a hydrogen bond, but a hydrogen bond is not an actual bond because there is no sharing of electrons. There is no transfer of electrons. If there was sharing of an electron, you would have called it a covalent bond. If there was a transfer of electrons to form the charged ions, you would have called it an ionic bond. But here, this is something between the two. The fluorine, which is partially negative, which is actually bound to hydrogen by a covalent bond, acquires a partial negative character due to its high electronegativity and it starts attracting the electropositive hydrogen which is present around it by Coulombic forces of attraction. And such a bond that is formed is known as a hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond is not as strong as a covalent or an ionic bond because it is not a proper bond. Yet it is strong enough to be ignored. You would not call it just the van der Waals forces of attraction. Van der Waals forces of attraction are forces that exist between any two molecules. They are, they are forces of attraction that would always be present between any two molecules which, are, which come close to each other. So this is not as weak as that. This is stronger. It is not a proper bond, yet it is strong enough to be called a bond. It is strong enough. The force of attraction is strong enough to be called a bond. And this extreme difference in the electronegativity is seen only with hydrogen and nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine. And since the presence of the electropositive atom hydrogen is there, it is known as the hydrogen bond. Now that we have understood that hydrogen bonds are present in molecules, what are the types of hydrogen bonds that could be there? Hydrogen bonds can be divided into two categories. First is the intermolecular hydrogen bond and the other is the intramolecular hydrogen bond. Intermolecular means when the hydrogen bond is present between the hydrogen of one molecule and the fluorine of the other molecule. So when the hydrogen bond exists between the electronegative atom and the hydrogen of adjacent molecules, then it is known as an intermolecular hydrogen bond. It's a hydrogen bond between two molecules. On the other hand, if the hydrogen bond is present between the electronegative atom in the same molecule and hydrogen in the same molecule, then it is called an intramolecular hydrogen bond. Examples of intramolecular hydrogen bonds are HF, hydrogen fluoride, HF, 
you would see that the fluorine of one molecule forms a hydrogen bond with the hydrogen of the adjacent molecule. Here also fluorine is forming a hydrogen bond with the hydrogen of the next molecule. You see this in water molecules also. The oxygen of water molecule, it forms hydrogen bonds with the, with the hydrogen of the adjacent molecule. You see this oxygen is forming a hydrogen with, bond with the hydrogen of another molecule. And why does this hydrogen not form a hydrogen bond with this oxygen? Because it is already present as a covalent bond. So there, there already exists a covalent bond between the two. So an additional hydrogen bond would not be formed. So the hydrogen bond would only be formed between hydrogen and the electronegative atom, which are not directly bound by a covalent or an ionic bond. So we find that it is here also in water molecule also we find intermolecular hydrogen bonding. If you took the example of ammonia NH3, you would see the same thing. N and it has a lone pair like this. So the H, H, H are here. So you could say a nitrogen here. This would form a hydrogen bond. And another nitrogen here would form a hydrogen bond. So here also in ammonia, we notice that the hydrogen of one molecule forms the hydrogen bond with the nitrogen of an adjacent molecule. So this was intermolecular hydrogen bond. An example of an intramolecular hydrogen bond, I've made this structure here. You have a benzene ring and you have NO2 group on one side and the OH group on one side. As a result of this, what happens? This is the electronegative atom and this is the hydrogen which is attached. The condition for hydrogen bonding is that the electronegative atom that is fluorine, oxygen or nitrogen should be attached to hydrogen. Only that hydrogen will be available for hydrogen bonding. So we find it is this hydrogen which is attached to the electronegative atom oxygen. Therefore, this hydrogen is available for hydrogen bonding. Why do I mention this? Because a benzene ring is nothing but CH2 groups here. If you really see, these are CH2 groups. Right? So it is not these hydrogens which are participating in the bonding. It is the hydrogen which is attached directly to either oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine. That is the one that will participate in hydrogen bonding. So here we find that this hydrogen which is attached to electronegative oxygen can form a hydrogen bond with an electronegative atom. Now the condition again is that that electronegative atom should be either fluorine, oxygen or nitrogen. So it forms a hydrogen bond with this oxygen and since this hydrogen bonding is taking place within the same molecule, it is known as intramolecular hydrogen bonding. So this was hydrogen bonding and with this we come to the end of this chapter and I hope uh, the videos were useful to you and if you did find them helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now.